Hey guys, it's Golden Shot and it's June 2nd, 2011, and I have a nice little gameplay of some Capture the Flag on Stadium here for you guys using the Galil, Galil, however you say that gun. And final score is 25 and 3, so 8 and 1 KD, pretty much. Pretty decent game. <coughs> so yeah. Um, I'm sure for a lot of you, school is pretty much over, I guess. I have one more day tomorrow, and it kind of sucks that we have to end on a Friday. I'd rather have Friday off, but unfortunately, I have to go, and I can't skip school because we have exams. Well, we, we, had, we had the first part of our exams today. Second part's tomorrow. Um, I did pretty well on my exams today. I, I got an 86 on my science exam, so that means I passed that course no matter what. I already knew I was anyways, no matter what grade I got. And my French exam, which I... I'm pretty sure I got like a 95 on. But yeah, and then tomorrow I have World Studies, which will be an easy exam. And um, I'll have computer apps, whatever, which is like Word and PowerPoint stuff. And we already took our practice test, and I got a 130-something out of, or 130-something out of like 140. So I'm looking forward to that exam also. And uh, my geometry exam I'm not doing because I already did it online. And uh, I got a 68% on that, which is good enough because I already had a 76%. And I think, I, I'm pretty sure that'll be, that'll keep me above a C, but I don't, I don't really care because I think a D is passing. Yeah, it is, I think. Whatever. So, yeah. It uh, looks like I'm going to be passing all my classes this year. I already knew that, though. I don't know. Um, if, you, if any of you are going to geometry, like, it's not really that hard. It's just, like, doing the work is probably the, like, hard, the hardest part. And it just depends on how your teacher teaches because my teacher, he, I mean, he's a nice guy, but he's, like, really kind of lazy. And he just did everything online. Like, all we did, like, we'd go into class, sit down. He, like, he'd play, like, a video that, like, everyone would just sleep through about, like, how to do the whatever stupid problems there are. And then after that, you'd be like, all right, go get your computers and go act like you're on geometry. But really, you're just going to be playing games or something. That's pretty much what we did. And I just did all my homework at, at home. And it's pretty easy because... You know, you can just, like, look up all the answers online, pretty much. So, if you have that type of teacher, that'd be, that's pretty awesome. But, I don't know. If you have some some other guy who actually teaches and, like, t makes you take notes of shit. Um, well, I mean, I mean, I guess the the main thing for me, like, how to pass it was, well, the reason I have, I have a C in there is because uh, I did all my homework, but, you know, since I don't really, like, learn anything, you know, like, I just, like, do the homework and cheat on it and... Because I didn't, like, learn how to do the problems. Uh, I pretty much failed all my tests. Or, well, I didn't I didn't fail them, but I got, like, you know, like D's and C's a lot. But, <laughs> and all, all the tests are open. Every single test, including the final, is open notes. So, uh, that's pretty awesome. But, I don't know, I just, you know, since I didn't have any notes that I ever took, um, you know, what what is there? Well, I mean, we never, we never even took notes in that class anyways. But, yeah, it was it was open book and open notes, and the book doesn't really help that much. So, um, you know, like, my last two tests, I, I printed out, like, all the, uh, like, how to do the problems from the online stuff or whatever, online homework, because, like, it has, like, step-by-step -step on how to do each problem, and that helped me a lot. I got, like, B's and A's in those two tests, which, if I, if I was smart, I would have done that earlier in the year, but I'm a dumbass, but I don't, I'm really happy that I won't have to repeat geometry. That was my only class that I was kind of worried about, and I'm going to be in Algebra 2 next year, so, yeah, just make sure you guys do your homework in all your classes. And, um, you know, just try to do as well as you can in your tests. You know, I mean, like, that can pretty much go for any class. But, you know, you want to try to do really good on the test, though. I mean, you know, it doesn't mean that you can just do all your homework and get Ds and Fs. I mean, your grade will suck then. But I like how I'm giving this all this information. I'm almost, well, I'm a freshman right now. You know, <laughs> I, I wonder if there's, like, a junior out there like listening. He's like, hmm, this kid sounds pretty smart. Oh, he's a freshman. I don't know if I like this kid anymore. But yeah, okay, enough about school. You know, I'm getting out tomorrow. And I'm really excited. Um, let's talk about some Modern Warfare 3. So, Ko the website called Kotaku, which you guys might know. Kot I don't know how you say it. Kotaku. You know, it's an like, anime name. And they're like a game website, and they, they they were the first one to release all the information about the single player. And then like that same day, they, re they released the four trailers, teasers, whatever. And, you know, and then, you know they, they seem pretty credible. Well, they just, they released on their website, like, what, like, I don't know, like, leaked information about, like, all the perks and shit in MW3, and, uh, Robert Bowling says that none of that's true, um, and, like, the thing they said wasn't true was the team perks, which is, 
I don't know. I want, you know, it doesn't really say how they how they were supposed to work, but basically, it's like you can give your whole team like flak jack, flak jacket, stopping power, which kind of sucks. Um, blast shield, and then there's one more. Oh yeah, like anti stun, whatever. Like you can't get stunned. And they said that that was gonna be in there. And Robert Bowen said today that no, that's not gonna be in there. You guys are a bunch of dumbasses. So. You know, who knows? I mean, I, I think this website's still pretty credible, but I think anything in multiplayer should not be kind of like, you know, thought of like, well, if there's any leaked information about multiplayer stuff, you know, it shouldn't be seen as it's true. Because, you know, in reality, it probably, I mean, well, it probably won't be, but, you know, there's a chance it won't be true. And in that case, I mean, I, I didn't really think it seemed right, anyways, but they also released a whole bunch of kill streaks, and there was only like, I don't know, like 8 or 10 kill streaks, and it didn't really seem right. I don't really believe that. I think Robert Bullen said that, that those weren't true either. But I mean, some of the kill streaks, they were pretty good ideas. Like, I think it was called like a protected air, air care package, which is like, you know, you can just like drop your care package, package anywhere, and like you can't get, I don't know, I guess it gets protected. And then there's like booby trapped care packages that you can call in and stuff. So, I mean, it's some pretty neat stuff that, you know, that they said, but, you know, who knows if it's going to be true. And, you know, I mean, only, like, ten things in there. It doesn't really seem right. But Robert Bullen also said that there's going to be no commando, no MN army, no nuke. That's a pretty big one. I mean, I, I kind of look forward to getting nukes all the time, but, I mean, I mean, yeah, the, the boosters, they kind of got out of hand also. So, I mean, I, I don't know. It's sort of like a win-win situation because now you won't have a game ending really early and you won't have any boosters but also you know you can't go for that nuke and be all awesome and uh a while ago on next gen update there was like some there was a thread about like a whole bunch of like nw3 killstreaks that they seem pretty good I, I don't have that link anymore i don't know where it is but it's on next gen update and it's like it had a whole bunch of perks and like kotaku had like a lot of the same ones but the kill streaks, there was like at least twenty of them, and there was like four or nine kill streaks. There's a there's a nuclear EMP which like disables all all perks for thirty seconds. That seemed pretty cool. They said that the tactical nuke was in that one, so you know that, that's that's probably why that one's fake. Well, it might might not be fake, but it might just be like a bunch of like thought up ones. But you know, there's some really co uh, cool stuff in there, and like he, it said that the EMP would be like a ten kill streak, AC one thirty would be thirteen, chopper gun would be like fifteen. Pavlo, there's like four nine kill streaks. The Predator missile will be six kill streak. <laughs> oh, excuse me, but yeah, I don't know. Can we? I I don't know. You really can't trust much about MW3 as of right now. You have to wait for them to say what's going to be in it, what's not, etc., etc. You know. But I have to say, I'm really looking forward to MW3. I don't. I hope then, or I hope the multiplayer is really good. But you know, these past two games haven't been that great. MW2 wasn't that. It, it was a fun game, but it was unbalanced, and Black Ops is a boring game, but it's very balanced, so. Uh, who knows? Hopefully they can get it right this time. You know, I hope Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward, whoever else is in it, can uh, get it done. So thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Final Scores 25 and 3, like I said. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, or like the video, comment, and subscribe.